Hello Math Champions, today we are going to learn about the duration of time. So let's say you are at the doctor and the doctor says, Sam, it will be your turn in 5 minutes. So how long is 5 minutes? So how long is 5 minutes? Let's say the time is 9 o'clock and the doctor calls you to go in in 5 minutes time. So this is how it will look like. The minute hand has traveled from 12 all the way to 1. Can you see that? This is 5 minutes. And what is the time now? Look at the short hand, the hour hand, which is 9. And then 05. So the time now is 9.05. So 5 minutes after 9 o'clock is 9.05. We can also write 5 minutes as 5 M I N. This will be the short form. Okay? Next example. So, Mr. Tan, you have to rest for half an hour before you can go home, says the doctor. How long is half an hour? So, we start again from 9 o'clock and we'll follow the minute hand down until it stops here at 6 okay this the part marked in yellow is half an hour and so what time is it now first step look at the hour hand is in between 9 and 10 so it's still 9 o'clock so it's 9 let's skip count 5 10 15 20 25 30 the time now is 9 30 so half an hour after 9 o'clock is 9.30 okay so how long is half an hour it is also the same as 30 minutes as you can see here and here it's the same half an hour is 30 minutes I'll say that again half an hour is 30 minutes and it can be written as 30 M I N this is the short form okay now an old lady approaches the doctor and says, Doctor, I have been waiting for one hour. How long more do I have to wait? So one hour. How long is one hour? So let's say the old lady has been waiting since 9 o'clock. Okay? One hour is when the minute hand has traveled all the way one round around the clock and you may ask me why is the minute hand still here it's a good question do you see that the hour hand was at 9 just now where is it now it is now pointing at 10 can you see that that is the difference when the minute hand travels one round around the clock you will see that the hour hand moves one number down like this so from 9 o'clock as you can see here after one hour it becomes 10 o'clock that's what one hour means this is one hour and is also known as 1H you can write it down as a short form 1H Okay, it's the same thing, one hour. One hour is also the same as 60 minutes. Now, this is very important because when you skip counting, remember there are 60 minutes in one hour. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay, so one hour is the same as 60 minutes. Now, I challenge you to time yourself Raise yourself with a friend or your parents. You can try seeing how long it takes for you to jog around the field. Okay, press the timer on the stopwatch and time yourself. How long? Is it 5 minutes? Is it 15 minutes? Is it 1 hour? Or how long is it? Okay. And now, how long does it take for you to get to school? The next time you try, you can leave the house start a timer and once you step into the gates of the school 
you can stop the timer and see how long you took. Is it 30 minutes? Is it 5 minutes? Or is it 1 hour? Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever watched a movie in a cinema before? And if you did, did you watch this movie? Inside Out? It's a very popular movie. So let me ask you, how long does it take to watch the movie Inside Out? Is it 30 minutes? 5 minutes? Half an hour? 45 minutes? 2 hours? 1 and a half hours? How long? The answer is 2 hours. This movie is 2 hours long and what does that mean? It means the minute hand travels one round and two rounds around the clock. So all you have to remember is how long is 30 minutes? It's when the minute hand travels halfway around the clock and stops over here. Or let's say the minute hand is over here. What is half an hour? It travels from here all the way to the top and stops there. It's the same thing, half of the clock. Okay? And if it's one hour, it means if the minute hand was here, let me draw it nicer for you. Okay, it means that the minute hand travels one whole round around the clock. One whole round. That is one hour. Okay, let's ask you a few questions. Art lesson starts at 11 a.m. Can you see the time here? And it lasts for one hour. How long is one hour? Watch this. Look at the minute hand over here. It's going to travel one whole round around the clock. And once that happens, the clock becomes this one over here. Can you see that? What is the time? It is 12 noon or 12 p.m. So the answer is 12 noon. One hour after 11 a.m. is 12 noon, which means that how long is art lesson? It's one hour long. Okay, the art lesson is one hour long. Now let's move on to math lesson. Math lesson starts at 10 a.m. and it also lasts for one hour. How long is one hour? It's when the minute hand over here travels from here one round around the clock. Same thing as just now and now the time becomes this. Look at this clock over here. What time is it now? It is 11 a.m. So one hour after 10 a.m. is 11 a.m. So how long is math lesson? Math lesson lasts for one hour. Breakfast starts at a certain time over here. They didn't tell you what time is it. So let's tell the time now. The hour hand is pointing in between 6 and 7. So it's still 6 o'clock. Now we look at the minute hand. It's over here. Let's skip count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it's 6, 30 a.m. in the morning. So breakfast starts at 6.30 a.m. Let me ask you what is half an hour after 6.30 a.m. Half an hour is when the minute hand travels from here all the way halfway around the clock. Okay? And it stops here. Try that on your clock and you will see that it will end up like this over here. What time is it now? It will be 7 a.m. So half an hour after 6.30 a.m. is 7 a.m. Okay? So how long does it take for you to finish your breakfast? I take half an hour to finish my breakfast. Alright, game time. Time to test whether you know the difference between half an hour and one hour. Let's go! 